Train Must Trick is wild. Okay, guys, so we are supposed to evaluate the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared all squared dx. Bro. <laughs> okay, so I would like to use the famous trick, you know, to solve this integral because honestly, I just, I mean, you saw, but I don't know, like, tangent of x for x, uh, tangent of u for x, it probably would have worked, but, uh, sorry, arc, arc tangent of u for x, so tangent of x for u, it probably might have worked, but it would be a lot of calculating, and I don't really want to imagine doing that, honestly. So let's use the famous trick, yes? So if you don't know what a famous what the famous trick is, is you just kind of take the some kind of a known uh, parametrized formula for some class of integrals of anti anti derivatives and anti, anti derivatives, and you just differentiate it with respect to the parameter given in that formula, and then trust me, you're gonna get what you want out of it. Yeah. So let's build up for our. Um, I mean, let's build up to our famous trick. Yeah. So we know. I mean, we probably should know from calc two that the integral of one over 1 plus x squared dx was equal to the arc tangent, yes, so the inverse tangent of x plus ac. Mm, well, you could achieve it by, well, simply putting uh, this tangent of x uh, equal to u and then using using some u, so I'm not going to be doing it, it's just about boring, yeah? Uh, so, there's also a another pretty nice formula, a pretty nice um, identity, let's say. So if I were to change this one right here to some other number, yeah, whatever number, I'm, I don't really care about changing this one right over there to a number because, well, I could then just take it out of it in, out of the integral and I wouldn't really care about it, yeah, but what would happen if I change this one here to some other value, let's say, I don't know, 25 or whatever, yeah, it's gonna be 25. Well, then my lower integral is gonna change into a fifth of arc tangent of x over five, you know, if you don't believe me, then just will do a u sub there, yeah? And so, this is pretty lovely because it can be generalized into a pretty lovely parametricized formula that the integral of 1 over a squared plus x squared dx is equal to 1 over a, 1 over a, multiplied by the inverse tangent of x divided by a, and then plus a constant. And well, this is pretty nice, because as you can see, this integral right there is pretty similar, oh, I didn't want to do that. This integral right there is pretty similar to what we are supposed to actually evaluate in this problem. Well, with a small difference of well, be, of this a squared being here in the denominator and one being here, and also you know squaring and entire parentheses. I'm not doing it here, so I'm drawing too many circles here. Let's just get rid of those here, <laughs> and let's use the famous trick, which kind of says you know it's like famous says that. But, Whenever a, param a parameter you're given, if you don't use it, you're gonna be beaten. Yes, yeah, so that was a lovely rhyme I just came up with. It's please laugh, please. Okay, so let's use this famous trick. Yes, yeah, so we would like to take the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to. A, yes, so the derivative of this integral with respect to a and the derivative of all of this 1, a, one over a ta arc tangent stuff, yeah, with respect to a. And we'll keep our fingers crossed that we'll get something interesting out of this thing, yeah? Mm, love it. So, well, here I'm just gonna be slipping this d over dA inside of this integral, but then I would have to rewrite this d here as the, uh, I mean, this d over dA um, using those. Um, symbols that you use when you write partial derivatives because but well, it would be partial derivative of the function in terms of a and x but i've always drawn those pretty ugly and uh, ugly so i'm just not gonna be doing that and i'm just gonna you know straightforwardly 
do some um, differentiation, differentiation here. Okay, yes, yeah, so what we're gonna get is, what's the derivative of 1 over a squared plus x squared with respect to a? Well, maybe I'll do it somewhere here in some other color. Yeah, so it's gonna be d over dx of. That's gonna be a squared plus x squared, everything to the negative first power. That's gonna be by the chain rule. Well, by the power rule, first of all, just uh, a squared plus x squared to the power of two, but negative out, uh, but negative of it, and then multiplied by the derivative of the stuff in the inside here by the chain rule, which is 2 times a cos x squared is just a constant with respect to a. Shit. <laughs> okay, now it's better. <laughs> I shouldn't have put x here. Uh, okay. Lovely. So we will be able to say that that right here, the integral of, and that's gonna be negative, it's gonna be negative, or maybe I'll write it like this, negative 2 times a all over a squared plus x squared, everything squared, dx. Well, you see, this thing right here, this thing there is actually starting to resemble this guy over there. I mean, we even have, you know, those parentheses expression squared, which is pretty nice, yeah? Okay, so what are we gonna get on the right hand side? Oh man, uh, product rule goes <laughs> So, First of all, the derivative with respect to a of 1 over a multiplied by the arctangent is going to be just negative 1 over a squared multiplied by the arctangent by the arctangent of x over a and then plus the derivative of arctangent which is going to be, well, we saw it earlier right here, that's just going to be mm, 1 over a squared, oh sorry, actually it's gonna be one plus x squared over a squared, because a is a, it's not the parameter anymore, yeah? <laughs> so stuff like this, and then it's gonna be multiplied by one over that a, and the derivative of c is just gonna be zero. I'm going pretty slow for, for this stuff because I just don't want to make any mistakes, yeah? <laughs> okay, so well, now, we just kind of want to get this integral right there to look exactly like the one we wanted to calculate in the first place, as you probably already guessed. And so what, what do we have to do? We first will have to divide everything by negative 2a, yes? Yeah? So we're gonna get the integral from one of 1 over a squared plus x squared, everything squared, and then dx. It's gonna be equal to, well, 1 over a cubed, 1 over a double a cubed, yeah, 1 over double a cubed, multiplied by the arctangent of x over, oh, shit, I <laughs> forgot to multiply this thing by the chain rule by x multiplied by negative 1 over a squared, sorry, so, mm, mm, x times 1 over a squared, now it's better, yeah, so, it's gonna be 1 plus, this thing is gonna be pretty nice, because it's gonna end up being x over a squared plus x squared times 1 over a, but I'm just gonna divide this 1 over a by negative double a, but now there was a negative, I'm gonna uh, cancel it out, so it's gonna be 1 over a to the power of 3, or to the power of 2, multiplied by 2. Yeah, so now everything's correct, yeah, lovely. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, okay. So now, well, we actually got a formula pretty lovely, so there's no problem for us to just kind of plug A being equal to 1 right now and, you know, get this guy to look exactly like what we're supposed to evaluate from the very beginning. So let's go on and do it. I'd like to say that my a is gonna be equal to a1, and so what I'm gonna be left with is the integral I wanted evaluated, x squared uh, plus one, stuff like this. It's not a straight line, yeah? So this thing, this integral I wanted to evaluate from the very beginning, this line is still not perfectly straight, but nobody cares about it. And that's gonna be one over two, one half arctangent of x over two plus 
x over 1 plus x squared multiplied by 1 over 2, which is a half of x over 1 plus x squared plus the arc tangent of x over 2. And don't forget the plus c. Because well, this is actually an, an ev evaluated integral, so this plus c is pretty important there. Awesome, so well, let's go through what we did here once again, because this is the final solution. What we did is we recalled a nice parametricized formula solving a class of integrals of 1 over a squared plus x squared. And then what we did is we took um, the derivative of both sides of this inequality given by that formula with respect to the parameter a, well, just as Feynman taught us to do, and then miraculously we got, well, the integral we wanted calculated in terms of this parameter here still, but then we just say that said that this parameter was equal to 1 and got what we wanted. Well, of course, after still noticing that I didn't use the chain rule there, but nobody cares about it. Um, yeah, and that will be basically all for this video. Yeah? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value from it. <sighs> like and subscribe to my channel because, well, if you subscribe to my channel, you're not going to be missing out on any new stuff I'm going to be posting. And I actually post every single day or sometimes even twice a day. And when you like, I'm just happy. So, yeah, please do. See you in the next one. Bye.